What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kasim and on today's episode of Tip Tuesday, we are talking about how to use AirDrop for Mac. AirDrop is a cool feature because it allows you to send files between devices such as your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. First, let's make sure AirDrop is on. Open the Finder app from your Mac desktop and on the left side, you'll see a tab for AirDrop. If you click on this, down below in blue, you'll see allow me to be discovered. Click that and make sure it's either set to contacts or everyone. Now there's a couple ways to go about sending files. I'm gonna start with the method I find the easiest. From your Mac desktop, find the Finder app. In here, you'll see there's a bunch of files in my recents folder. If you simply do a single click on any of the files, you'll notice the share icon at the top of the folder is now illuminated. Click this and you'll see a drop down menu. Click on where you see AirDrop and this will open a new window. Here you'll see any of your devices that are nearby. If it's an iPhone or iPad that you're transferring to, make sure it's unlocked because otherwise it will not be detected by the computer. Now you'll see my iPhone is available and unlocked so we are just going to select it. Once you select your device, you'll notice that your iPhone will vibrate and pretty soon the file will be transferred over and you'll be able to view it. Now it's important to remember that when transferring larger files or folders, you will be prompted on your phone to choose a location to save it. If you didn't already know, there's a files app on iPhone which allows you to view folders and documents that are supported by the iPhone such as PDF and Word files. Now when you're transferring larger files or folders to your iPhone, you'll need to use the files app and you will be prompted to choose a location that you'd like to save the file. Now when you've decided on a location, just click save and you'll be good to go. Now let's talk about some other methods to go about this. On a file or folder, if you right click, you'll see a menu of options. Go down to where it says share, then select airdrop and you can go about sharing files this way as well. Last but not least, if you've got a MacBook Pro that has a touch bar, then just simply select a file from a folder or your desktop and you'll notice in the touch bar there's a share icon. If you tap on this, then you will see that AirDrop is one of the available options it gives you. Just select that and you can transfer files that way as well. All right guys, that does it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you found the video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've got anything to say and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next Tuesday, same time, same place.